Mountain is called Tadasnora Mountain, and it has all the power that a mountain represents. We only achieve that power once we, cook, we get correct alignment in the body. In yoga, all we ever do is work with this alignment and then just change the angles. So stand with your feet hip distance apart. Open out the soles of the feet to lengthen them, broaden them. Open the foot from the center, okay? Heels turned out slightly, so the feet are in, in straight line with the hips. Then you can transfer the weight into the toes slightly. And then rock back into the heels. And then rock slowly forward until you're in the center of the foot, so the weight is evenly balanced, balanced across the sole of the foot. Good. So that's somewhere over the arches. From there, just allow the knees to soften and let the hips relax. Try and get a sense of the hips balancing or floating over the sole of the foot. Good. And then start to connect with the chest. So the chest is floating over the hips, but floating over the feet. And then concentrating on the shoulders, relax them. The head starts to float in the center of the chest. Good. Chin's tucked in, and the eyes look towards the horizon. Good, relax the kneecaps. Then try and find the hips in relationship to the feet. The hips literally float above the center of the foot. Then find the chest in relationship to the hips. So the chest is floating above the hips, which are floating above our center of gravity in the foot. And then the shoulders relax, and the chin tucks in, and our eyes look towards the horizon. So you have the head floating above the chest, above the hips, and above the feet. Once we find correct alignment, we release tension and the weight goes down. We yield to the earth, and once we find this yielding, it comes into the body as a thing called levity, which gives us a lift. 